Hey everybody, welcome back to my playthrough of Space Camp. This is Wandering Kid, and we have just reached Flidaeus. We're in the home stretch now. We're on the second to last planet. There's not a lot left. These are going to be the hardest puzzles out there. Our first assignment is going to be the research assignment. Special assignment. As you can tell, we have a split set up to be able to get near uh, the last guy again. So, let's take that on. So, in this board, we have to take ethylene, and we get a hydroxyl radical, and we need to make two out two different outputs, ethanol and acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde? Acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde? That's new. And on the right, we need to make two outputs, ethanol and acetaldehyde. It's about as close as I'm going to be able to say. Hints for the board. Take a look at which one of your outputs you have to build first. Second hint. You're going to end up twisting and turning the atoms around a lot to be able to get this to work right. Third hint. They gave you a super bonder reactor for a reason. Let's get started on this. The first thing you'll want to notice is over here on the outputs, you're going to need to bring in a hydroxyl radical once to get an extra hydrogen to build the ethanol. So you need to build the acetaldehyde. Oh my God, I don't even know how to pronounce that. The ace first. I need, a, I need to go to like speaking school and I'll go figure out how to say that. Anyway. So what we're going to have to start with is we're going to have to begin by just attaching an oxygen to this and borrowing a hydrogen from it. In the meanwhile, we still need to add a hydrogen out here onto both of them. Now, let's look at patterns. In almost all cases, we are attaching a hydrogen here onto the outside of our ethylene. So, if we bring in oxygen and hydrogen and we split off a hydrogen, we'll want to attach it to the outside of our uh, ethylene. Let's assume we put that there for the moment. We do need to reduce the bonding between the carbons in all cases. Seems simple enough. Now, to make our lives easier, when we build the acetaldehyde, the ACE, Notice that we can put the oxygen on, remember we can put the oxygen on either side. It doesn't have to be built this way. So we can do something along these lines where we put the oxygen on, on the bottom instead of on the top. So let's start this off with a simple premise. We'll grab here, we'll bring it down, we'll drop it. In the meanwhile, we'll sink. And we'll tell blue and it can begin its process. I don't know what else it's going to be doing yet, because I don't quite remember how I built this last time. Uh, I know it was a lot more complex than the way I want to build it this time. And we'll unbond. Um, we want to do an in on A and an in on B. Now, this actually doesn't need to be here quite so tight. Because what we can do is we can have blue bring in the B, keep our sinks down. And the reason for that is this can wait until we just get around to it. Now, when we hit this on bonder, we're going to reduce the bonds on carbon by one. We're going to unbond all of these. So far, so good. Now we've dropped that there. If we bring red around, do a grab, and do a drop on it, we've now put the hydrogen in the correct place. Now as long as we've got bonder order straight, the hydrogen will get hooked up to this carbon and it won't double bond up again. Let's see if we've got our bonder orders good so far. Oops, I forgot to put in a bond. Nope. All right, so let's try swapping these guys around for a second. There we go. So that works out. We have our max bonds there. Now, the other thing we needed to do on our first pass, though, 
was get this hydrogen out of the way. So we already know we're going to have it unbonded. So we're going to have red grab come through here. Drop that off out of the way. So we will have blue. Let's see. That applies to this one. We'll have blue come through. Grab here. Come up. Drop there and hang up for a second. So let's see how that works out. Okay. Now, other than the fact that we need to double bond oxygen, we're good so far. So we'll have red double bond and then release blue on the sink. Okay, so far so good. We've built out the ACE. Now we just need to get it over into um, its depository and ship so that we can send red back in. So what we shall do is a slight modification here. We have double bonded, we have grabbed, we will sink. Now blue. Let's see, I don't think we can build that long. That's gonna grab that hydrogen. We're going to shift this down by one. Because blue's going to have to bring our oxygen up here. Our oxygen and our hydrogen, actually. So what is the best way to do that? So we've put our hydrogen here. We've moved our oxygen up. So blue has synced, but blue doesn't care. Well, let's have red drop. Let's have red take care of its delivery, which is it's got it by this point. It can drop there. We'll flip flop it back into position, save us some cycles and we'll out Omega. Let's make sure we've got this built right so far. I don't even have to go that far. I can save myself a few cycles. Okay, so far so good. Now, once blue, red is out of the way, blue knows it can bring in another beta. I can get that prepped up. With our oxygen hydrogen here, we'll have a spare hydrogen here. Like so. We'll have blue unbond and rebond. Let me see if that works, if I've got the order right. No joy, no joy. Okay, the reason this isn't working is because oxygen can have two bonds, obviously. The thing is, is I don't want red to be able to re-grab this on the other build-out. I want it to simply go through with nothing. Okay, so I can't early build it, but I can bring it in early. Been synced, it's brand brought in. Red is on its pattern and has just synced up. If I give red a sync here, blue can be synced again. So if it's synced here, it's crashed. I've crashed the build out already. That won't function. So. I need blue to be busy during this process. I'm going to send blue around the long way. It's going to grab. It's going to drop. Which doesn't work. 
that way. All right. Let me think this through and redesign this. Okay, not exactly a redesign, but it is a rethinking of the process. So instead of having red be the complete controller of the ethylene, What we'll have is red do a drop and an out. We need blue to hold until red resyncs itself. Now red waits for the sink. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing from here, so I'm actually going to bring this down by one. So red has sink. It's told blue it can go from here. Blue brings in a beta. Brings in alpha i think it'll have just enough time to clear grabs it up here by the hydrogen brings it down by one to our build zone unbonds the world grabs this hydrogen and drops it i need to see what this looks like at this point Oh, that didn't work as planned. Let's try that again. Hey, okay, why am I... I'm hitting this crossover sink a little faster than I had expected. There we go. Okay, what is going wrong? My timings are off. Somewhere or another, I threw the timings off. We're not unbonding. Oh, I stripped off the unbond. There we go. Okay, so that sink... This sink doesn't need to be here. That drops, bonds out, tells Blue to get going. Plenty of time left, but Blue did not. Okay, this needs to go down by one. Okay, so we've unbonded, Blue's doing its thing. Red has just finally gotten to this point. And because of the way I've laid out red here, it's kind of in a jam. All right. We need red to be coming back a little faster, I think. Let me save some cycles on the turnaround. And what we will do... Instead of doing the unbond there... Put red in flip-flop mode here. Actually, I don't even know if I need the flip-flop. You make that a grab drop. Blue grabs it by the hydrogen. Comes over here. And sinks. At which point... We will rotate oxygen up, so that's the correct way. We can get dropped there after red's made off with our hydrogen. Blue will now, um, this will end up with a bad shipment. Let me see where I end up at this point. So let me pause there. Okay, that's a little too tight. Okay. So we're on pause. What I want is before this can grab, I want blue to run off with it. So 
So what I want Blue to do is not drop here. I want Blue to end up sinking there. But that means I need Red to sink here. What does that do to my opening builds? Okay, blue is synced. It's waiting to do things. Okay. I can live with that part. So we can wait a turn. We can wait one cycle for that. Okay, I thought you'd be out of the way, but oh, you're stuck on this crossover sink. Stuck on that crossover sink. Um, I can fix that. Okay. Okay, blue's off and running now. This is not in the right position. Why didn't this grab and drop all the... Oh. I'm grabbing it on the hydrogens. I need to drop it there. There we go. That's got that out of the way. Okay, and blue takes off before red can grab it. Perfect. And now red does need a flip-flop. that it goes back into its normal loop while blue makes a break for it. It's got it by this hydrogen. Oops. It's got to go here, drop, out, and return. I need a second sink for blue here to let... Let me see, that's one, two. That lets red out. It starts its reset up while it waits for blue to return. Okay, now can I speed up this delivery for blue? I've got it by this right-hand hydrogen. If I spin it this way once, I think I can drop it here and ship it from there. Let's try that. Oh, I'm hitting the walls. Alright, spin there. Yeah, that should save me some cycles. There we go. All right, I think I have a working reactor. Not too shabby. Let's see how it goes. 439 symbols. Not too bad. Well, I know this took a little bit, but I'm glad you got to watch me work through it. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a comment or a like. They're always appreciated. And I'll see you next time.